Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. My tip today is actually starts with a little bit of a story. When I was probably 12 years old, maybe 13, maybe 14, somewhere around in there, I got a drum set. I don't know where it, I got it, but it was um, it was given to me or my dad bought it for me. I'm not sure, but it was in my basement. And um, I started to practice, you know, once in a while down there on the drums. And I could play a few things. And <clears throat> one time I went down while my dad was upstairs and uh, I played some drums for probably, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour or something like that. And I came up to my dad and I said, hey, did you hear me practicing? And he said, yeah, um, you need some work, you know, something like that. Something like you need to practice more or practice more and you might have, a, you might, you know, get a little better or something. Basically, he didn't tell me that I sounded great and that I should be encouraged or he's proud of me or anything like that. And I understand where he was coming from and I don't fault him for that, but it affected me forever. And um, I always had a question mark in my mind whenever I was playing in a band or playing drums or playing in a guitar, playing a guitar. And I still do. Every once in a while, uh, I just get this question like, Am I, do I deserve this? Am I uh, worthy of this instrument? Am I worthy of calling myself a musician? So basically my tip is to, you know, if you ever have any of those thoughts of doubt, maybe look into your past a little bit and see what messages came to you from your parents or from your teachers or from the people that you looked up to, even your friends at that very... Um, uh, receptive age, you know, between actually from when you're a little, little child, you know, one year old to, you know, 18 years old, there's, you're very susceptible and, um, easily affected by other people's opinions or, um, other things that happen to you and they can affect your mindset for years and years to come about your confidence, affect your confidence affect um, just your desire to, you know, uh, play your instrument uh, or all that stuff that can affect you as a musician and as a human being in general. So I'd, I just wanted to share that story and maybe, you know, it'll get inspire some of you to just, if you ever have those, those negative feelings, to just look back. And one thing you can do, um, there's a lot of things you can do, but one thing you can do is imagine that the um, situation is different. Like, imagine you coming up and uh, for after playing drums, and your dad saying, "Hey, good job! You know, I encourage you know I encourage you to keep going. I hear some I hear some good stuff in there or something. Just a little twist on your memory and play that back. It's it's kind of like a visualization uh, for." your past traumas you know I'm not a psychologist I don't claim to know but it has worked for me um, reprogram reprogramming my mind and <clears throat> when you can dial in on some of those memories that ha that you carry with you that that affect you you can actually reprogram your mind um, there are many different ways to do it that's just one and um, so good luck with that and uh, I hope, I hope it helps, and I hope that um, you let nothing stop you uh, in your pursuit of playing music and um, being proud of, of what you do on stage and, and uh, behind the scenes. So, rock on!